Hi everyone, it's Sue here. I'm going to share with you today the second half of my March Project Life album, um, which is really a mixture of Project Life and traditional uh, 12 by 12 layouts. Um, I, for some reason, did the first half of March and not the second, and now that we're in May, I figure, well, let me get um, caught up on my videos. And I actually just began start uh, just began scrapping April. Um, I got a little bit behind, but that's okay. I'm going to get caught up. Um, so this I'm going to go rather quickly. So this is a 12 by 12. Um, this, this up here, these two um, wood veneers. There's two here. The top one I actually put in my brown ink pad and so it um, gave it some dimension. This is a punch, this butterfly from Martha Stewart. The pictures, um, I used my corner chomper to round the edges and I just thought that Madison, this is my granddaughter, that she looked really cute because she had three different sets of pajamas on. And she loved it. She was fine with it. So off to bed she went. Um, over here, this is a 6x12 page protector. And I took a picture of her with her Easter shoes on. And yes, they are on the wrong feet. So it was really, really cute. And there's some more butterflies. And this paper is from Simple Stories. Now on the back of this particular page, um, like because I had to... Um, add that picture in there. Uh, it wasn't planned in the beginning. So I didn't have another picture to put on the back. So I just took a, a, a you know, a four by six journaling card and put it in there with some washi and a little bit of uh, trim. Now over here, this is um, my second favorite style page protector. It has the four six by six um, slots and on this particular page I used um, the Buttercup collection kit from Lil Lily B Design and what I did was I took the 12 by 12 piece of paper I cut it into quarters and so I flipped these two so this is one side of the paper this is the other, other side of the paper so I think it just makes it look pretty having both sides of the paper so <clears throat> excuse me the majority of uh, everything on here is from that kit uh, except for the washi tape here but this saying is this journaling card back here the white with their circles is from the kit the letters all of this is from the kit uh, this little brad is from we are memory keepers the banners are from the kit. The heart um, paper clip is from Freckled Fawn. This stamp is from Close to My Heart. And I'm not really sure where this stamp is from. But that's that page, and she's feeding her baby doll. And then on this side, um, she put on one of her princess outfits <clears throat> and this and this I believe are both from the Citrus Twist uh, Project Life Kit. On the insides of these pictures right here I put yellow ribbon and then some blue um, bling and this here is actually a die and it was it's not mine so I don't even know who makes it or whatever but somebody cut that out for me. And then I have the ribbon, the yellow ribbon that I used up top again down here with this, I don't know, what do you call that trim? Uh, Rick Rack or whatever you call that. Um, and that's about it. And here she is playing with her baby dolls. Now over here, this particular page protector has the two vertical four by sixes and then the three horizontal and a two by six spot over here. So this paper right here is Simple Stories. 
and this is Easter time as you can see these stickers are just all from <clears throat> from Michaels probably recollections and this is Easter again well the Easter egg hunt I should say so I put some washi tape here and these this and this are actually two different washi tapes they look similar but they're different um, and then I use some four by six journaling cards and I think they might be Becky Higgins I think um, and of course my speech bubble wood veneer and over here um, I almost never use this style of page protector but I should more often I, I do like it so it has the three four by four spots in the middle but this is Madison and her riding her bike this year all by herself and I was just shocked that she was able to do that herself so I didn't expect it I don't know why I guess she grew up over the winter and then these are just some more now what oh, I, I want to share this with you um, see these um, the paper behind well and actually these top well not that one but this one this one um, and these four by sixes back here they are all from um, the albums made easy from we are memory keepers they have them and if if you need any journaling cards I would really recommend going out to scrapbooksteals.com and go to their ar archive section and look for these. They were, I think, $6.99 and you get 257 journaling cards. Uh, it includes both the 4x6 and the, the 3x4 um, for $6.99. And I'm going to show you what I have and how I'm storing them. So... They had four for sale, four different types, styles, I should say. So um, the first one I got was Tangerine. That's the name of the, the kit. And so these are the, the papers. So they're absolutely adorable. So you get all of this, all this, all these three by fours and those four by sixes for $6.99. They're absolutely adorable. Then this set back here is called Memo. So here's the 4x6s and the 3x4s. This back here is just extra stuff just to hold these up. Then back here, this set is called Webster. And there's the 4x6s and the 3x4s. And then there's Bloom, which is nice and pink. And and pretty. Um, so, and the three by fours, and I'm just have that back there just to hold it, hold them up. And so I got these little um, little baskets at Michaels, and it kind of works really well. They were on sale, they were on clearance, and and I, it's just easy, easy for me to look through all of them and find what I want to use. So back to the scrapbook. So here she is on Easter morning. And so this is one of the four by six cards. Another sticker from Michaels and my foam thickers, which I love. I love foam thickers. And then here she is again on the back. I did a little bit of journaling up here. I have my Heidi Swap arrow, another sticker. And over here, this was um, Easter after church at my parents' house. And again, I'm using the the cards from the uh, the albums Made Easy from We Are Memory Keepers. Like this one up here, it's a four by six with a three by four on top of it. And I just slid it in there. I thought it looked really pretty. So it, it really does make it easy. <laughs> um, and over here is the Easter egg hunt. 
Now, I since I was so late in getting this done, I I kind of cheated on this page, or at least I feel like I cheated. I mean, the only slot that I did anything with was this one up here. And I did a card, I stamped, and I put a geotag. And like I said, I cheated on this one. I mean, it's just all pictures. But I got it done, so <laughs> that's the important part. So over here, um, I was really enjoying the 12 by 12 pictures, uh, or layouts, I should say. So this particular paper is just, I love it, love it, love it. It's um, a collection called Hope by Authentique. And the colors in it are not the normal Easter colors. It's like yellows and blues, and there's the Easter bunnies, and this is another... Um, this was a 12 by 12 paper. This is an 8 by 8 paper pad and it has stickers with it and it's pointing, you know, this way to the egg hunt, which is what they just did over here. They did the Easter egg hunt. Um, so I really am enjoying this paper. It's very well made. Very well made. So that's authentic. And then this is the other side of that. And this is my 19-year-old son that also participated in the Easter egg hunt. Yes, he did. Um, but anyways, this is the back of that paper. And again, I just I just love it. Love, love. These are my wood veneers from Freckled Fawn. And then over here, um, just some more pictures from Easter. And two more pages. Um, this cute little paper clip I actually got from Michaels um, in the dollar fifty section. They had a, an assortment of different um, styles, and I thought, how cute is that for Easter? Um, and this little bow is one that I got from Michaels long ago. Um, I have some wood veneers. Butterfly and speech bubble. And the last page is right here, and this is us playing cards. This paper, I don't know who makes it, but gosh, it was like perfect. And these right here are not, it's not an actual card. It actually is, it's a journaling card, which was pretty cool. Um, and then here's a badge from JW's Jazzy Buttons on Etsy. And of course some washi tape. Love, love, love washi tape and a paper clip from Recollections. And that is it. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon hopefully with my April um, project life and God bless everyone.